Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Killot404, and finally, welcome to some Call of Duty Ghosts Wii U version gameplay on my YouTube channel. It's going to be a pleasure of mine playing this game and give you guys some gameplay videos, and I have a lot to say about this game. I just got it at midnight release, and I actually have some notes. I thought a lot about the game, and I want to give you guys some really useful information if you guys haven't got the game already, and you're thinking of getting the game later on, and probably, you know, you want to do good and tips and tricks and, and all that stuff. What Whatever is going to be helping you in the game, that's the sort of stuff that I want to talk about in this video. It's going to be really in-depth, and I put a lot of effort into this. I think a lot of these notes are really true to the meaning of the game, so I definitely hope you guys uh, enjoy it, and also, too, I would definitely appreciate it if you guys would like and favorite the video as well. Like I said, I put a lot of thought into this video, and there's a lot of things that I want to talk about with this game, Call of Duty Ghost. So let me first talk about the reason why I'm actually even playing this game on the Wii U. So I know this is not really a Nintendo game, but still, if you guys didn't know already, uh, the Wii U isn't doing so well, and it really needs a lot of third-party support. I could have easily gotten this game for a PC. I don't own an Xbox or a PS3, but I have at least a PC where I could actually play this game. I don't play this game on the PC, even though it gets better support, even though it's probably going to get DLC in the future. The reason why I get the Wii U version, which is, you know, clearly right here, the inferior version to the other consoles, or at least the version that's being neglected the most, so the reason why I get the Wii U uh, version of the game in the first place, regardless of all that uh, disadvantages that the system has, I still think that it's really important uh, that we support uh, Nintendo as much as possible. The third-party games are really lacking and slacking nowadays. You know, the recent game Batman Arkham Origins doesn't even have online multiplayer. That's that's ridiculous in my opinion. And like I said in the past, it's like a pleasure. It, it really is almost a blessing and a pleasure that Activision even gave this game to us in the first place, okay? It's, it's a really big honor to even have Call of Duty on the Wii U this year. Let me tell you that, and I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart, and that's why I choose to support the Nintendo Wii U, and I choose to support Call of Duty Ghosts on this system. So that's a little aside on why I play the Wii U version. And of course, I do enjoy the series as well. But here's some information about the game that you guys probably might want to know uh, before you get into the game so you can get the feeling of how it's going to be playing. So currently, right now, there are 306 players online playing on the Wii U version, which is good. I think the last time I signed on to Black Ops 2 was yesterday, and there was about 2,000 people. So, I mean, 300 people out of 2,000 is a pretty good ratio for the people who decided to get it at midnight launch. I think Black Ops 2 is also similar on the Wii U, and hopefully, you know, with Call of Duty Ghosts on the Wii U, uh, those numbers will increase when uh, the uh, winter time and Christmas time comes around. So still a pretty solid turnout, 306 players online, that's pretty good in my books. Uh, the good thing about this game, or the things that are most, um, I guess, I, I really like about this game, the pluses about this game, are that the graphics are impeccable, and the UI or user interface, all the menus, they're, they're all slick. Everything in terms of art in this game is very beautiful. The graphics, I, I can't explain it, they really do almost look like Xbox One graphics or, or, or the next generation graphics. I think the Treyarch team definitely uh, deserves an applause here for all the work that they've done because they've really kind of extracted all the power they could from the Nintendo Wii U uh, to make a great looking game. This game looks fantastic. The graphics look amazing. The textures look really sharp. And like I said, it looks really good on the Nintendo Wii U and it plays pretty smoothly too. It doesn't get 60 frames per second at all times. It dips down just a little bit, but still that's a very, very, it's, it's not a really big uh, thing to complain about, especially since the Wii not only has to output a video signal to the TV, but rather to the gamepad. So the graphics in the game and the UI, everything is slick and beautiful. Great job, uh, Infinity Ward and Treyarch on that part. So that's the first good thing about the game. And the rest, honestly, I'm sorry to say, but there's a lot of like things that I'm really worried about about this game. First off, the movement is very, very slow. It's almost like you're moving through molasses. It doesn't feel like any other COD in the past. It doesn't feel like Black Ops 2, and it has very, very different control. Like, the thumbsticks to me feel very, very, very different. Maybe it has to do with the new engine or something like that, but right now, it's not going to be like you can just jump into this game. If you beast it in Black Ops 2, if you beast it in Modern Warfare 3, you're not just going to jump into this game and beast on Call of Duty Ghost. No, you have to kind of like, you know, get used to it and become accustomed to how things work and feel in this game. It's much different than any other COD in the past. Now, killing 
is super fast in this game. The, the bullet damage is crazy, and also there are very low recoil weapons. And with the big maps, again, there's like maps the size of Texas, really big maps in this game, a lot of big maps in this game. I already foresee this game as an AR dominant game and also to a radar game because with such big maps, you're not going to find a lot of players consistently. So, you know, you have to rely on things on radar and stuff like that. And of course, if you want to be get the advantage of that and you don't want to be on the radar, I think a silencer is going to be one of the biggest things to use uh, in this game. So that's a little bit about the maps and the guns. And I just, like I said, I just really feel that this game is going to be very, very trolly in the future with a lot of big maps as well. You have to think about this. This is a haven or a heaven for corner campers. There's going to be so many corner campers in this game. Lots of corners to check. With such big maps, you have a lot of places to check, and it's going to get worse when people have access to claymores and shock charges and things like that. It's going to be really, really hectic for you to always try to snuff out these campers. And if, if it gets to that point in, in the so-called metagame of Call of Duty Ghosts, it's going to really be a disappointment to me. But unfortunately, that's like the, the grim prediction that I uh, predict so far. So far, it's kind of good. People are trying to run around. I did meet some campers, but like I said, you know, Black Ops 2 was a really, really camper-friendly game, or at least passive camper-ish. You know, people like patrolling a building with a silencer and stuff like that. People just moving around in one area. That's what is going to happen, I think, in Call of Duty Ghosts, because you're going to want the enemy to run to you, and you easily shoot them down, you know, from your very safe position, uh, up top, up high, wherever you are. I think that's going to be the end of the metagame for Call of Duty Ghosts. Right now, everybody is kind of doing bad. Everybody has like a two, less than a 2 KD in the game, and I definitely recommend that you guys get a headset. Listening to footsteps in this game is going to be so paramount to how well you do. All you have to do is like get a, uh, get headphones or something like that, connect it to your gamepad and put the gamepad next to you and then that's going to be able, uh, that's going to enable you rather to actually listen to the footsteps in this game and know where people are. Again, with such big maps you need reconnaissance and that is a huge, it's almost like night and day. Once I put on my headset, I heard everybody and it was so easy to predict where people were going to come from and easy to kill them. It, it was fantastic. Like I said, it was night and day. You're definitely going to be doing a much, much better if you use headset or a headset or earphones plugged in into your Wii U gamepad so you can hear the footsteps in the game. And going with that, I'm going to give you guys the last piece of information I want to give you guys. It's going to be the beast class or the so, the so far beast class of Call of Duty Ghost. How I got this 27 and 3 gameplay using the SA805 uh, assault rifle on this map tremor the beast class is going to be an ar with a silencer of course because at big maps you want to basically use an ar for long distance and a silencer to keep you off the radar you want that and again you move slow so it's not you can run away from people you know what i'm saying that's why you definitely need to stay off the radar that's the first thing the second thing is my my biggest thing is to definitely unlock dead silence as soon as possible dead silence again when you silence your own footsteps you can hear things so much more clearer and it's going to be easy Easy to pinpoint where the enemies are so that's why dead silence and just listening to footsteps if you just do those two things that should be your bread and butter in the beginning of Call of Duty Ghosts you're gonna get kills so much easier and I highly recommend that combo to use and the final piece of uh, information that I want to give you guys is to use a lower sensitivity than you did in Black Ops or Modern Warfare 3 again the controls are a little bit weird here for dual analog at least I have yet to use the Wiimote but I'm definitely gonna be getting on Wiimote really soon uh, to give a comparison I think uh, on Black Black Ops 2, the controls went from 0 to 40, and I used 18 out of 40 in Black Ops 2, and this time I'm using 9 out of 40, so I almost cut my sensitivity in half, and also, by the way, I'm turning look acceleration off. I really don't like look acceleration. You know, pro, uh, <laughs> pro FPS people on the PC hate look acceleration. I hate it too. I even hate it on my console, so that's a little bit of information for you guys. Again, the Beast class, to reiterate, AR silence, dead silence, perk. You know, you can unlock that early. I think normally it's unlocked around level 20 but you have squad points I immediately suggest you buy that as soon as possible dead silence it's the golden perk of this game and then finally lower your sensitivity because it's really hard with the thumbsticks you're not going to go whizzing around with your control sticks you need to first like have a stable anchoring uh, what I would call an anchoring sensitivity and then you can ramp it up as much as you feel comfortable when you get better at the game so that's my I guess tips and tricks that's my information about the game so far it's pretty enjoyable I'm kind of exploiting it a little bit with this so-called class that I'm using and hopefully
hopefully, I mean, I, I predict a grim future. I don't want to be the, the bearer of bad news. I don't want to be the negative Nancy here. But that's honestly my personal thoughts. Hopefully, it doesn't turn out that way. Hopefully, patches can fix stuff if anything goes wrong. But that's pretty much it. That is my impressions of Call of Duty Ghosts. But still, guys, it's going to be great for you Wii U people out there because you finally have a game that you can play once again for months to come. And hopefully, you know, the multiplayer doesn't get stale and you have a lot of fun with it and so on and so forth. Hopefully, if you guys didn't like Black Ops 2, hopefully this will be a better sort of Call of Duty for you to play in the long run. So that's pretty much it. My name is Killot404. I'm out. Again, please like and subscribe. The video does really help me out, and I'm gone. Peace.